Captain. So my name is Bob Duffelbag Pope, telling all you soldiers out there to use Pepsodent. Whether your mouth has a lot or a few, your teeth will never be P.U. And remember to always brush your teeth with Pepsodent, and you'll be proud for folks to see them. And then you'll have a Pepsodent smile at the FDR Museum. <laughs> all right, so thanks all. Thank you all very, very much. Great to be here at the Duffel Bag Encampment um, here at FDR Library Museum. And as you know, my name is Bob Hope, and I've been affiliated with the USO shows now for several years. In fact, it's gotten so bad that all of the GIs all around the world have come to call me USO Bob, except I understand that the Germans and the Japanese, they just shortened that a little bit, and they just call me USOB. Now we were doing some tours out in the South Pacific and our, came, our plane came in for a landing on a little South Pacific atoll and all of a sudden we were attacked by a whole bunch of Japanese fighters. But don't ask me to tell you how many because it's hard to count when you're hiding under the seat. And the commanding officer there was a really swell guy, really swell guy. In fact, he had a chicken standing by just in case I needed blood. And he was a very, very brave man, this commanding officer. Why, when the bullets were flying and the bombs were falling, he was not one to hide under a bed. And believe me, I was in a position to know. So I met a captain uh, on that little atoll, this captain, and he told me that his wife was driving him to drink. And I said, gee, that's swell. My wife makes we walk. At the beginning of the Army and Navy game, I was asked to throw out the ceremonial coin toss, so I throw my coin up in the air, catch the coin, slap it on the back of my wrist, and the Navy captain says, heads, and the Army captain replies, latrines. Oh, you got to work with me here, people. This is a really, really tough crowd, I got to tell you. Thank you. <laughs> So I was asking a GI, or a GI asked me, he said, tell me, Bob, what's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? And I said, well, one is really heavy, and the other is a little lighter. So I walked into the NCO club, and I wanted a glass of punch. So I asked the bartender for a fruit punch. And the bartender, bartender says, listen, pal, if you want a punch, you have to stand on that line over there. And I took a look, and there was no punch line. Oh, we're getting better, warming up the crowd. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I decided that I would like to die like the company Jeep driver, peacefully in his sleep not yelling and screaming in horror like the officers when the Jeep drove off the road. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So I got to tell you, you'll appreciate this one because the CEO took me over to the field over there and he said, Bob, I got to show you this really special bomber airplane that we have hidden under the trees. It's really a top secret special bomber with all the special brand new electronic equipment and everything and it's really, really special. It flies in completely undetected, drops a few bombs and then leaves unnoticed. I said, heck, what's so special about that? I've been doing that for years. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, let's see. Two soldiers were on maneuvers in a field and they came across this huge hole, this huge hole in the middle of the ground and they almost walked right into it. And they looked down and they said, boy, that hole is really, really deep. I wonder how deep that hole is. So they said, you know what? Let's find something here that we could drop down the hole and listen for it to hit the bottom and then we'll know exactly how deep that hole is. So they scrounge around in the woods and they find an old Jeep transmission lying in the woods. So they pick the Jeep transmission up and they carry it over, they carry it over and they drop it down the hole. And they're listening. Suddenly, a goat comes running in between their legs and just runs as fast as it could and jumps into the hole. And they're looking around and they're going, what the heck was that? All of a sudden, the shepherd comes out of the woods and he says, say, fellas, did you see a goat? And we said, yeah, as a matter of fact, we did. We were standing by this hole. This goat came running along as fast as they could and jumped into the hole. And the shepherd says, that's impossible. I had him tied to an old transmission.
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, so, you know, back in Hollywood, Dorothy Lamar walked into a shop on Hollywood Boulevard, and she said to the shopkeeper, she said, Sir, can I try on that dress in the window? And the shopkeeper said, Of course, but wouldn't you prefer the privacy of the dressing room? <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. You are one tough crowd, but thank you, ma'am. You really appreciate these, and I appreciate that. So I tell you what. It's about time we bring on the uh, star of our show today. Um, I'd like to introduce to you once again, bring to the stage the lovely uh, Alyssa Martin, performing today as Dawn O'Day. Are we ready, dear? So we have Dawn O'Day here, and Dawn O'Day uh, is an up-and-coming young Hollywood starlet. She's going to be starring with me in my next Hollywood picture. Don't have a name for that one yet. I think we're going to call it The Road to... Uh, somewhere. Somewhere. The Road to Somewhere. We'll come up with an appropriate title at the time. And it's her, really her first time in Hollywood. Um, she's from the Midwest. So uh, tell me, Miss O'Day, your first time in Hollywood. What did you think of Hollywood? Well, I was looking forward to meeting a really big star. With a really big star? Well, you're so lucky you ran into me. Why? Do you know any? Do I know any? <laughs> Could you introduce me to Bing Crosby or Frank Sinatra? Bing Crosby and Frank Sinatra. Boy, oh boy. Let me tell you, I made a lot of road pictures with Bing Crosby, young lady. And what would those pictures be without me? Academy Award winning. <laughs> oh, Academy Award winning. Well, let me tell you something, Miss O'Day. It, it just so happens that I was selected this year to be the MC at this year's annual Hollywood Awards ceremony. So what do you have to say about that? But don't they just call that night Passover at your house? <laughs> oh, Passover. Oh, Miss O'Day. Well, let me tell you something, folks. I think I'm going to pass over my next set of jokes and turn the microphone right over to the lovely and talented Dawn O'Day. Give her a big hand, please. Thank you. I'm leaving you immediately, Chattanooga, here I come. Pardon me, boys, is that the Chattanooga choo-choo? Right on track 29, well, you can give it a shine. I can afford to board the Chattanooga choo-choo. I've got my fare, and just a trifle to spare. You Pennsylvania Station about a quarter to four. Read a magazine and then you're in Baltimore. Dinner in the diner, nothing could be finer than to have your ham and eggs in Carolina. When you hear the whistle blow and eight to the bar, then you know that Tennessee is not very far. Shovel all the coal in, gotta keep it rolling. Woo woo, Chattanooga, there you are. There's gonna be a certain party at the station in satin and lace. I used to call funny face. She's gonna cry until I tell her that I'll never roam. So Chattanooga choo choo, won't you choo choo me? Chattanooga choo-choo train A part of me boys Woo woo is at the Chattanooga Choo-choo choo-choo Right on track 29 Nine baby oh yeah Boy you can give me a shine Oh give me a really good shine Certain parts. 
crash from the last skies Another went back and fireflies But now the stars are in your eyes I'm beginning to save a life Another run in for afterglow Or candlelight on the mistletoe But now when you turn the
gambler's lucky streak And we're out together dancing cheek to cheek Papa's gotta be rough 
now so that he can be sweet to you another day five 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 baby don't cry baby shoo 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 baby do da do day your papa's off to the seven seas Shh, baby Shh. Baby, shoo, 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 baby, shoo, shoo, quiet, I want a little bit of quiet in the house, please, a little bit of quiet in the house, so Papa's on his way to pass the seven so you so don't you cry, don't you say goodbye, no, shoo, shoo, baby, shoo, 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 my baby, shoo, goodbye, baby, don't you cry no more. Your big guitar, Papa's off to the seven seas. Seems kinda tough now to say goodbye this way. But Papa's gotta be rough now so that he can be sweet to you another day. Bye, 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 baby. Don't cry, baby. Bye, 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 baby. Do da do day. Off to the seven seas, the seven seas. Your big tall papa's off to the seven seas. the boys I've known and I've known some until I first met you I was lonesome then you came in sight dear my heart grew light and this whole world seemed new to me you're really swell I have to admit you deserve expressions that really fit you so I racked my brain hoping to explain all the things that you do to me by me mist of shame please let me explain by me to shame means your ground by me is to shame again I'll explain it means you're the fairest in the land I could say Bella Bella even say wonderbar each language only helps me tell you how grand you are I've tried to by mere bis to shame so kiss me and say you understand by mere bis to shame you've heard it all before but let me try to explain by mere bis to shame means that you're grand by mere bis to shame again I'll explain Say Bella, Bella, even say you wonder about each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. Pretty, 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 pretty. say that you will understand. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful, the beautiful and talented Dawn O'Day. Give it up for Dawn O'Day. Come on, big round of applause. 
Okay, I think we have time for one more, all right? One more song. Don't forget, we've got the tactical going to be happening at 1 o'clock in the big field behind you. Be sure and check that out. Make sure you check out all the displays around the field as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, a big, big round of applause for Alyssa Martin as Dawn O'Day. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget the tactical at 1 o'clock, and we'll be back here with another show, another U.S. show, show around 3 o'clock this afternoon. So enjoy the rest of your day. Stay out of the sun if you can. Stay hydrated. And once again, let's have a big round of applause and a big thank you for all of our veterans out there, too. All of our active duty servicemen and women, our first responders, and remember this Memorial Day to remember all of those who sacrificed their lives so that we can live in the freedom of this great country, this great United States of America. Thank you again very, very much. We'll see you later. Don't forget the tactical at one o'clock.